I tell guys this all the time without fail, whether you have a 22 all the way up to whatever caliber that you run in a rifle or a handgun, anything that you put on that always has to be Loctited, guys. It will not hold. I don't care what, what you use. Uh, even if you use a pellet gun and you put something on there that has a screw, it will work its way loose. Now, case in point is going to be uh, another piece of gear that I'm going to show you, which is this holster. I hadn't Loctited the, the clips uh, for the belt on here since I've got this, but I've been checking on it. I hadn't worn this a whole lot, but I have here recently worn it a, uh, several times here. So last time I checked this holster, when I went to put it on, I did a quick check, just pull like this, so that's nice and snug. You know, that's all you gotta do, quick visual, make sure everything's good. And now look at this. Now, what can happen is, this is very loose in case you can't tell on camera here. It is very loose, see right there? What can happen is, is this could actually come all the way unscrewed in your pants and the screw can fall out and a holster can tilt or spin on you, gun can fall out, who knows what else. Now's the time that I will lock tight this holster. Now, since I checked this holster before and felt that it was snug like this, I've worn this thing exactly two times. And that happened w within the last two times of me wearing this. That right there. I mean, this is very close to just falling completely off. Now, if once you use blue Loctite, don't use the red. You could use the red if you figure you're never ever gonna change it again. But if you use the blue, you will never have a problem again with any of these screws moving on you. And it's the same with your firearms. Anything you put on a firearm, you have to Loctite. Now, you don't necessarily have to Loctite the mount um, on a Neotech that comes with it or the mount on an aim point that snaps over itself when it's, when it's as tight as it needs to be. Uh, I have not seen any problems or issues with those. But anything you put on that has screws, the mounts, um, like if you have an aim point mount that's aftermarket, you know, or anything like that, or an aftermarket EOTech mount, you have to check that screws. Guys, I remember back in uh, 2010, I got an AR with a uh, aim point comp M3 on it. I went out uh, with my nephew and we shot for a while. I just happened to touch the touch the aim point and I could rock it back and forth the little screws that go from underneath up had worked out enough we we didn't even shoot 300 rounds and it had worked out enough that it rocked back and forth blue Loctite never moved again so uh yeah guys and this is why I have this out is because now that I've been carrying this more and uh, using it I I love this thing guys this is one of those items that I want to order another one that's how much I like this now you take this off the dresser and put it in your uh, pants pocket, you will smell that distinct, wonderful leather smell for about five or 10 seconds just in the area around where this wallet was and around you. That's how nice this thing is. I just, I absolutely love it, guys. Uh, I've not been this happy with a wallet since I don't know when, maybe never. But this is definitely, definitely um, what I will be using from here on out. And what happens is, is I've looked more into the composition of this leather and different things, and I'm gonna talk about that more. I'm gonna be doing an EDC uh, update video, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the different uh, things with the, the Horween Chrome Excel uh, leather that's made in the United States, and what all is done to that, and how it wears, and when you wear it, it gets better and better. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more in my upcoming EDC video with some new items that I'm EDCing. But there it is, guys, I love this thing. There it is, just, just a beautiful, just a beautiful uh, refined piece of just pure class. That's what this is, guys, pure class. I'm gonna tell you what, this is better than those $400 coach purses. I've handled the leather on those. I've bought one of those coach purses in the past for a female, and I'm gonna tell you guys right now, this, I, I like the smell better and the way this feels better. I just, you know, I just keep feeling it like this. That's how nice it is. But all right, guys, there you go. Lock tight all your stuff. I'm telling you, it's gonna help you in the end. All right, guys, until next time, DOF out.